What is my song? When did I begin to be me? Was it on the day that I came out of my mama's tummy? Was it on the day that I first went into her tummy and began to grow there? My name is Dale. I live in East Africa. My people believe that I began to be me before I was born. I began to be me even before I began to grow inside my mama. I began to be me the very first time the idea of me came into my mama's heart. When this happened, my mama went away by herself to sit under a tree. She listened in her heart until she heard the special song of me. Once she heard my song, she went back to the village and taught it to my papa. They sang it together, inviting me to come to them. <clears throat> As I begin to grow inside her tummy, my mama often sings my song to me. In the morning, she sings my song to me as she washes clothes in the river and lays them on the rocks to dry in the warm sun. In the afternoon, she sings my song to me as she sifts millet. In the evening, she sings my song to me with my papa as they watch the stars grow bright in the sky. They feel so happy when at last she sings herself and me to sleep with my song. When it is almost time for me to be born, my mama teaches my song to the other women of our village. When I come out of her tummy, the first thing I hear is the other women gathered around my mama, singing my song to me. All the people of my village learn my song. Whenever I fall or hurt myself, they sing it to me. One night, the wind blows a spark from our cooking fire onto the roof of our grass-thatched hut. I rush in to save my baby brother. I carry him out and all the people sing my song to me. When my little sister falls into the river and I save her from drowning, they sing my song to me. My song is about protecting people and keeping them from harm. One day, Matani, another boy in our village, takes my fishing net and tears it. I am very angry. Instead of telling him how angry I am, I throw a stone at him. The stone hits him on his face and he falls to the ground. Matani's eyes are bleeding and he cannot see. I have forgotten that I am a protector. I do not know who I am anymore. I cannot remember my song. Everyone in the village stops what they are doing. All the men stop working in the fields. All the women stop pounding grain. All the children stop playing their games. In the middle of the village, everyone makes a big circle around me. All together, they sing my song to me. They know who I am. Slowly, gradually, the song fills my heart. And I remember, too, I am a protector. I go to Matani's hut and say, I am sorry. If your eyes do not get better, I will be your eyes. I will lead you around the village and through the forest. I will fish for you. I will plant grain for you. I will protect you from danger. I sing Matani's song to him. Gradually, his eyes get better and he can see again. So can I. I can see myself. I remember who I really am. I can hear my own song again. I am a protector. The most important thing is that my song never leaves me, even if I forget it for a while. One afternoon, I go out alone in the fishing boat. Suddenly, the sky grows dark and stormy. The wind blows me out farther and farther away from land. The water is very rough, and I cannot steer the boat over the big waves. I am so frightened. I don't know what to do. The other children are watching me from the shore. They begin to sing louder and louder. They are singing my song. I feel strong again. I can steer the boat against the wind back to where the other children are standing. I am safe. When I become a man, the other men will sing my song to welcome me as one of them. When I get married, all the people of my village will sing my song at my wedding. <coughs> And when I leave this world and go back to God, they will gather around my deathbed 
and sing my song to me for the last time. Who are you? Put your hand on your heart. Can you feel your heart beating? Take deep breaths and listen deep inside your heart. Can you hear your song? <laughs>